welcome. Welcome replays. Can you believe it's September? Freddie, come and sit up here, darling, so people can see you. Everybody wants to see you, Freddie. Come and sit up here, darling. You're comfortable there. He has a little bed underneath. This is the kitchen table. Welcome to my kitchen. Come on in. There's plenty seats to go round. <laughs> Get yourself a little, little drink uh, and come on in and see what we're up to today. Hopefully Freddie will come and sit up here in a minute because I know that um, you want to see little Freddie. <laughs> oh, I've been, I think about once a year, I do some eco printing. <laughs> it's usually very messy, but this time I feel that I've found a way to make it less messy. It certainly feels less messy. Now, I haven't looked to see the results yet, so I'm not quite sure um, what it's going to be like. <laughs> oh. I've got a flower press here, so before, I want to make room in it, so before, look at that, first in the chat, good morning Barbara, all the way from Canada, <laughs> oh so lovely to see you, and Joyce, good morning and welcome, oh welcome, welcome Joyce, <laughs> so glad you're here, oh little Freddie is here, Freddie, I think People don't want to see me, Freddie. No, he's under the table. <laughs> That's where he likes to sit. But if we're all sat round here, this is the kitchen table. Um, he does like to sit up on one of the garden chairs because he likes to be high up and with us normally. He's probably really confused because we're in a different room. Good morning, Carol. Oh, Carol, you're getting your house ready for the hop on Friday. It's the hop on Friday. Don't they come round quickly? Is it my age? It seems to go so quickly. There's Melissa. Melissa, can you believe it's September already? Does time go quickly for you? Ah, oh, time's a funny old thing, isn't it? It's so nice to see you, Melissa. Oh, Jean, good morning. I am your fairy godmother, Jean. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> You've been tinkering. I saw, oh, Carol, I saw your embroidery that you've done online. I'll email you a picture, Barbara. Oh, Carol, you make some lovely things. There's Dar. Good morning, Dar. And young Gracie. Dar, isn't it funny when you when you click on the black dog on the icons, it comes out as like um, a little brown dog. I do that because when I, little sister Cheryl, when I usually put a little hello from Freddie to her. <laughs> oh, Melissa can't believe it's um, September already either. Oh, there's Sylvia all the way over in France. Oh, if you haven't found Sylvia yet, I can email you a link, um, Barbara. I posted your video yesterday, Sylvia, on Beth's channel and in Fibsville too. Oh, your, your witch's house is going to be amazing. Wonderful. It was a premiere, wasn't it? And you haven't done YouTube for a while. So I'm so glad that you started streaming and doing videos again. Christina, good morning. So nice to see you. There's Ruth. Good morning, Ruth. Nice to see you. I went to visit my auntie, Ruth. Oh, I I didn't feel that maybe she would like to be. I should have asked. 
I don't like to invade people's privacy. She was showing us all her sewing and her quilts. Oh, it was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see them, Ruth. Vanessa, good morning. And there's Mrs. Gigi. Good morning, Mrs. Gigi. Mrs. Gigi has been so busy on her house. Oh, it's lovely. She's got multiple rooms in her house and it folds open. I love it. I love it. And you're putting lots of detail. I've just watched your prep hot video number two. Mary will have a Mary's got a playlist for that. I can post a pay playlist for that later on in the description box as well. I'm getting these out. I don't know how long these flowers have been in here, but they'll be a nice addition. <laughs> because I'm going to, I don't know, I like to just, when autumn comes, I like to gather flowers and blackberries and... <laughs> Your house is simple. Well, simple can be beautiful, Carol. Mm. Oh, Becky, Becky Waters, did I say good morning to you when you came in? Welcome and to the people, to the replayers. I don't know what day it is, but to the lovely people in chat, I'd like to say happy Monday. Welcome to Monday. <laughs> There's Gaylan. Oh, Gaylan. Have you got another busy day planned? I think Mondays is a busy day for you. Gaylan, welcome, welcome. How is your knee? I don't know. Are you able to drive yet? That's the thing, not being able to drive to your to your dad's to help your dad out, isn't it? This flower press, giving away my age. I won't say how old it is, but I think my, my, my dad probably made it for me when I was, um, oh, goodness, about 50. So, and it's great because you can travel with it as well. Barbara Ann Lair put up a video for her pop-up house. Oh, and I loved it. It's, she makes little boxes, and when you unfold the book, the furniture can unfold as well. I might use that technique in, in my mushroom house as well. We're inspiring one another. Michelle, good morning. So nice to see you. Gail says, not too busy this Monday. It's a public holiday. Oh, of course it is. I've got that written down here. It's Labour Day, isn't it? I was looking up on the internet what Labour Day was. Yes, yes. Oh, well, ha a happy holiday and a hopefully a rest for quite a lot of the workers. Yes. Mm. Michelle, yes, it's a public holiday. Oh, brilliant. That means that I hope for Janice too, that it means that it's a public holiday. Because Janice is always nipping, nipping to work, isn't she? Bless her. Public holiday in Canada too. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, how Gail, Gail T. Did I say good morning to you, Gail T? I didn't watch many videos last week since I came back. I've just been watching Gail's, Gail's video, and and I did mention. Here he comes. Here he comes. I know that's who you want to see. Little Freddy in his chair. <laughs> oh, I, you made the journal for your grandson and he loved it as well, Gail. Oh, pop to Gail's channel to see her latest creations. There's Angie. Angie says a big hello. A big hello to you, Angie. Oh, so nice to see you. Mm. Well, Becky. I'm back home now. I'm in the kitchen. Well, I, because I was doing the eco dine in the kitchen and I thought, wow, I've made a mess of this table. I may as well stream from here. <laughs> Say clearing the dining room table and the desk up. 
<laughs> I'm um, I'm everywhere. <laughs> oh, and good morning to you. Oh, I know. I think Freddie saw Cheryl coming in. That's why he's got up here. Mm. Oh, Gail, your grandson has just started school and you're 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 giving him this gift of journaling and journaling or art or creating can be such a gift because it's so good for our well-being, isn't it? That's amazing, Gail. Absolutely amazing. Oh, look at Suze <laughs> with a lovely orange heart for me and a little red heart for Freddie. <laughs> Thank you, Suze, dear. Oh, your gra youngest grandson just started school too. Oh, I read a question and then didn't answer it. I think, was it Galan who said, how long do I keep them in the press for? It depends how moist they are and how succulent the leaves are to how long they take to press. These ones have been in here since last autumn. Can you believe that? Oh, Vanessa, I am fine. Thank you. Yeah, really well. Thank you. And happy to be back. Happy to be back here. We had a lovely holiday. I've Caught up with washing and unpacking. <laughs> Where's the puppy? Oh, little Cooper. Wasn't he a wonderful addition to the stream last week? He was great, wasn't he? I love the way he ran in with a shoe and we put that in the prompts. He was great, wasn't he? They do grow up so fast. He's three times the size. He's four months now, Cooper. And... It's amazing how 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 much he's grown. I think he's three times the size. But maybe, oh, Gail Ann, um, Cooper is Matthew's dog, my nephew, Matt. <laughs> so Matt's gone back to school today. And but Gail T and Gail Ann are talking about their grandchildren. They grow up so fast. They do. Yes, they do. Oh, and there's Aunt Bex. Aunt Bex, I missed what you were doing last week. You evidently, I missed out on a lot because I was away. And you're making dresses for little girls. Yes, happy Labour Day to all our American and Canadian friends. Yes. Oh, I probably interrupted myself just to go back to these pressed flowers. It's, it's a lovely ginkgo biloba leaf. I love those. You don't see those very often. So I press those. I love the shape and the colour. And just some other random flowers. They'll be lovely. I shall stick those in the journals. You're making dresses for the Project Dress a Girl. That is, I'm going to look that up. I will put that, you've probably put information about that in your, in your um, Facebook group. I would love to, yeah, I will catch up with what's been going on, won't I, this week. Aunt Bex, I think that's a lovely idea. There's a me. Good morning, a me. It's a public holiday. I, I'm wondering whether you're working today. Not everybody can have a public holiday, can they, and me? So nice to see you. Mm. Mary Sows did a video. Mary Sows. I will catch up with this. Oh, yes, Cheryl. That's it. Yes, definitely. Definitely. That's good. Yes, Dee Dee is on too. Yes. And Ami says, you're not working. Ah, oh, joy of joys. Thank you for spending your holiday morning with me. That's so kind of you. So, I normally, when I've eco-printed, I have a 
boiling pan and then you wrap it up and then you put rusty things and a stone and a stone collapsed and I don't know and I just got in a mess and I thought I've been looking up I thought I would use a steaming pan now some people have a hot press and then some people do ironing but you can see this is quite a compact little package still damp but cool because I did this yesterday here is the link thank you thank you for that I will look at that later. Now, I'm just revealing these now. They come out well. Let me show you in the camera. I love this one. This is fennel from the garden. That print's come out well, actually. Much better than when I boiled it. That's amazing. There we are. That's fennel, so it smells so nice. And now I can't remember what the blue is. Oh, this is an anemone leaf. And then you've got the fennel. We'll take that out. So, oh, he's quite content, isn't he? He's been on a long walk, I know. So what have we got on this side? I've got so the fennel prints come out beautifully, hasn't it? I'm very pleased with that. Oh, Cheryl, what is a peg bag? Let me show you. Did you see that? I, I, sh yeah. Let me get that, Cheryl. Well, it's what it says on the tin, really. Um, a pet bag is a little bag and then you put your clothes pegs in for when you peg your washing on the line. I love hanging my washing on the line and nothing beats it. So here's my refurbished peg bag. Mm. Oh, and me, yes. It hasn't it come out well. I got yeah, I was I thought I'm gonna do the reveal because it's exciting, but I didn't know whether it had worked. I'm gonna go through how I did it because this is a lot less messy. Now I'll put a link to someone below. She has been doing it with a steam iron. The Tifal T Tivel um Teflon, Teflon sheets and and ironing with very good results as well but this is with steaming I'll go through that that little bit of blue I don't know what that is mm. I know Sylvia all for a lot less mess yes has anybody tried doing the ah oh, I've got a marigold in that one but, oh Oh, this is exciting. It's like Christmas and it's so lovely. I'm opening Christmas presents with you. <laughs> oh, oh, this, this leaf here, sage leaf. That's come out beautifully and again makes it smell so gorgeous. The lady that was coming to fix the printer she didn't show up on oh, on Friday. Oh, Angie. Oh, I do hope you get that sorted out this week. Yeah, no. They just didn't Mary go to make a little peg bag with a denim jacket. They're great to make it out of a little child's dress. I never thought of that. It was it it's it was falling to bits I think I showed you the other week and I just did some slow stitching this will remind me of being on holiday and this reminds me of being on stream with you all mm. yes Ruth I'm going to go through how I did this yes yes I certainly will this was a yellow poppy yeah and then you can wipe these off. Oh, this is a bit of rosemary. 
I try to use plants that aren't toxic as well. Oh, I'll peel that off. Sometimes you have to wipe them off, so they say. It would be lovely if I could remember what I put on. There we are. This one needs a little bit more sorting. But this has come out beautifully. I think this was a yellow poppy. It amazes me that they come out differently. Oh, you call them clothes pins. Oh, I will on I will put that on Lizzie, a clothes pin bag. Thank you and me. We just we do the same things, but we have little language differences. Mm. Mm. Good morning, Deborah Joy. So nice to see you. Really nice. Sylvia, yes. I try to do it once a year, but I must admit it's come out a lot better this year. So this is my roll, my roll my, that I steamed in a steamer. So you put water in the bottom and then you steam it. So let me just Oh, this is the nasturtium. Let's see if that, oh, wow. There's just definitely, I love the yellow tinge to everything. I'm loving this. Look, got an orange flower here, Suze. Has it? No, it hasn't come out. It's just yellow. I love it. Beautiful. I am not complaining about that. You can see I need to wipe it off. But you can sort of see the, the round nasturtium leaf. This is the nasturtiums. They just grow wild in the garden. Katie Cat, oh, you're awake early. Oh, I've been doing eco printing. I will show you how it's done, Katie. I don't, I'm not quite sure. I think these were just the other side of the nasturtiums. I've definitely got some stalks going on here and some flowers. These are yellow poppies that have lost their colour. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I think the yellow bleeds through from the, the other. Maybe these are the nasturtium flowers as well. I'm very pleased with these. If you want me to slow down. No, you want, ah, ah, oh, interesting. When I squashed these geraniums through the Sizzix last year, I, that's interesting. The nasturtiums, um, the geraniums, pelagoniums, came out quite blue. So that's these, the geraniums, pelagoniums here. Mm. Christina, did I say good morning to you? I don't mind if I did. I'm going to say it again because I don't want to miss you out. <laughs> Just let me know. Oh, here is one of these, a Japanese anemone. Ah, let's just see. Oh. Gosh, very delicate. It's a delicate flower. Look at that. You can just see the petals like a shadow and the yellow. That's not anything left behind. That's actually the print. Gosh. Well, I'm jolly pleased. I will explain what I've done. I've got different types of paper. I've got watercolour paper, cartridge paper copy paper that's the that's the watercolor paper good morning christina this is my little roll of eco dyed paper i'm going to go over how i did it and this this is my fabric i'm loving the sage leaves they're beautiful the sage I'm not quite sure what that one was. I'm just loving the general yellowness of them as well. 
So let me just put that all over there. So let me tell you what I did. I mean, a lot of you have done this before. Janice, good morning to you. Have you got a public holiday in the newspaper industry there? You're sewing. Oh, that's good. You're always busy, aren't you? Yes. So I shall put these somewhere to dry. I'll put them there to dry. So, and we've got some string. I can use the same string. So I bought from eBay. Now, when you do Ecodyne, you have to have a what they call a mordant. Is it some is it called mordant? Office closed. Yes, result, Janice. How wonderful. You can take a relaxing morning. Yes. Or even drop back to sleep. Mm. Oh, I haven't seen that. A journal scroll. You did say about that. I need to catch up with that. So a mordant, one mordant you can use is alum powder. And I bought this on Amazon, well Ben did, and it was 180. So it, it's it's you don't because I'm just doing it for myself, I'm not doing I don't need to buy it in bulk. Hmm. I'm going to have to watch that. So what I did, you get some hot water and you get hot water and you dissolve so for a cup of water hot water two teaspoons of the alum and you mix it in then it dissolves there are other mordants like vinegar lemon and i was looking it up and aloe vera is a mordant too You're headed to the beach tomorrow. Oh, have fun. Oh, wonderful. A little bit of sea air. It'll do you good. Yeah, brilliant, Cheryl. You've had quite a summer of medical procedures. And yeah, I will have to watch that too. I'm just going to. So what I did was I had, I soaked all these papers, you can see they're quite wrinkly already. These have been pre-soaked and dried off on a towel. This is vintage typing paper here. So they've already been in the alum mixture. So all that I'm going to do now is start to wet it again with the alum, alum water with a sponge. So I think when I've done it before, I haven't used the alum. So I think that's why I'm getting better results. What have I got? I've got some raspberry leaves. Ooh, I've got some hydrangea here. They usually give a nice bit of colour, don't they? There we are. I'm going to nip out and get Oh, well, I'll wait and see what I've got, but I would like to. Ooh, black currant sage. That's another herb. There's a little flower here. Oh, Kimberly, good morning. You have to travel five hours to the beach. Oh, it could be worth it. Do you get to stay overnight, um, Cheryl, dear? Or will you have to travel back the same day? So then I'm going to wet some more paper this side. Just got a sponge. And and the person I was watching, I will leave the link. I think she's it's she's got M M's place. E M S place, I do believe. And she was She says that she keeps hers in a jar if, it, if there's any left. There's that, that, that yellow made a beautiful print, didn't it? Let's see if we can find that one. Oh, that was gorgeous. Very delicate. 
very some oh, I can't find it for now. <laughs> Squash that in. Lovely. And some rosemary. I'm not quite sure. I don't know whether the rosemary worked. I'm going to take the stalk off and then I've just got some little bits. Some strawberry leaves. These are just things I gathered just a minute ago. Oh, you might fall asleep, Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl, you probably answered. Oh, don't, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you're okay. As long as you're okay, Angie. That's all that matters. <laughs> and you popped in to say hi. Kimberly, you were buffering. I, I'm just, my new way of making a roll and I steamed them. Now that I've never had such a good result. But if you've just come in, this is alum. So I'm going to put some on top of this paper here. Alum water. Cup of, a cup of boiling water and then two teaspoons of the alum powder. And that will go a long way, I, I think. Oh, Angie, dear. <laughs> you are so lovely. I bet you've got to go shopping again, haven't you? I know. Let me just put these wonderful round leaves. And they've got one year I planted nasturtiums. And then ever since, they just keep coming back. Here's M's place, the channel. Thank you. Have you watched her before? And then after doing this steaming, I realised that she was doing one with an iron as well. So that's quite interesting. This one is multimedia paper. So some more alum. So it's already pre-soaked and dried. Lovely. I will run. Let's run into the garden. I'm going to get that sage because I absolutely adore the sage. Gosh, it's a gorgeous day today. Absolutely lovely. Warmer than St. Ives. Oh, the water was chilly at St. Ives. You have a good day. Mm. There we are. That was just the sage leaves, and I think they came out. Oh, they're my favourite. Such detail. Let me just see if I can. These need to to dry out. I did think I did show you, but hmm. oh here, look. Absolutely gorgeous. I've just it's just got so much detail. Love it. It's lovely to have I love sage in the garden. I'm doing a few of those because they were successful and I remembered what they are. Good morning, Carla. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Oh. <laughs> there we are. Put some of these on. I'm not sure. Oh, look, there's a little snail. He can go out there. There you go. Soft landing out there. I will show you the garden later. I'll be able to... Yeah, lovely. And then put some more alum water on this bit of paper. And that goes on here. It's like, make think of it as making a sandwich. If, um, if Roy was here, this would be like his tomato sandwich, wouldn't it? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw these on now. Mm. If I'm missing what you're saying, 
Let me know. Talk to me in caps. <laughs> oh, it's a very overgrown garden. Oh, did you see my pre-process video where I made like a little wreath and put it on the tree fairy house? Yesterday, after holiday, I went back to visit. We went back to the woods and the wreath was still alive. The, the nasturtiums, even little flowers and buds had opened up. It's incredible to still be alive after, when did I do that? I think I did that the Thursday before I went away. Right, let's do um, one more, one more, so I'm not keeping you too long on one thing. <laughs> it's Petty, good morning. So nice to see you. Petty's from S South Africa. It's lovely to have all the all the nations represented here today, <laughs> isn't it? I love that. Mm. There we are. Right, I'm going to I'm going to put one more thing down here. We're going to put some more fennel down. I haven't got the fennel seeds, but I've got the fennel leaves. I think they're going to be make such good detail, aren't they? Wonderful. Has anybody seen Pam at the Paper Outpost video this morning? On um, You probably haven't had time because I'm the afternoon. I've had longer. Wouldn't, if you've got some... This you could make and then you put ink. That would make a great stencil. Beautiful. I might try that. Oh, good morning, Irene. So nice to see you. Oh, I still treasure the little bird you gave me. So nice to see you. Oh, I'm not at my desk today, so I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> We had a song over here and it said in the kitchen at parties. <laughs> there we are. So I'm making a mess. You come in, Irene. I'm making I'm making a complete mess. I'm this is alum water here. And the papers and the material have been pre-soaked and dried in the alum water as well. It dries your hands out. It's not toxic because these little pe people use them to pickle in the pickling process. Can you believe that? So on the outside, I've got fabric. Oh, that just looks so pretty like that. And then I roll up my sandwich here. Quite a thin little sandwich, this one. So it, it's not really that messy and dirty compared to. I mean, it is lovely to have all the rusty things, but ah, look. Do I need a little piece of paper on the outside just to cover that up? I probably do. Let's wet that down. We're just rolling sandwiches here. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, Janice. Mary, Mary gives so much to our community, doesn't she? Yes. She, I hope she is sleeping in. I really do. When Mary says, oh, I need to send happy mail, I need to visit a channel, I'm thinking, oh, Mary, you give so much already. So much inspiration. Flower wraps. Absolutely. Well, nasturtiums you can have in salad, and it's got I've got herbs. I'm not quite sure about hydrangeas though. And I just wrap it like that. Good morning, Malaya. Oh, public holiday, so the children are bouncing around you, aren't they, today? Yes. Oh. It's still warm, so and my little sandwich, and I'm gonna go over to the 
over to the cooker and I have a steaming pan here with some water in it and I'm just going to steam that and I'm going to do that while we're while we're chatting. Turn the gas on. I have gas. <laughs> I'm cooking on gas. Look, while I'm here, I may as well just re allen these. So you could look up other mordants as well. There you go. Soak that up. There we are. And squeeze that out. I'm going to wash my hands as well. There we are. I'm going to have a little tidy up. <laughs> That's not like me, is it? Excuse me, stretching over there. I'm going to roll that off as well. Lovely. Oh, and I'm going to put the rest. That's why I was emptying the flower press because I'm going. I'm just wash my. Oh no, I'll just do this first. I need to have a little tidy up pre. In the middle of the stream. That's it. I'm going to press those later. That's why I got the flower press out. I knew there'd be a good reason. I'm not going to do that in your time, though. I will do that after the stream. With the flower press, it's just two pieces of blotting paper or cartridge paper, some form of absorbent paper. There we are, in between. There. There we are. And that's not too messy, is it, really? This is my kitchen table. It just gets, gets sanded, cleaned down, sanded, and then it gets sealed with, uh, with um, Danish oil. Can you see the little hole here? This is where I bought a jacket potato. It was wrapped in foil from the barbecue, popped it on the table to serve it, and didn't realize there was um, a barbecue coal on the bottom of the foil and it just burned a hole in the table. But that's fine, <laughs> things happen, things happen. Typical me, typical me, look at my hands, absolutely typical. There we are. So that was some, um, I'm quite pleased about that. And it was such fun to open these in front of you. I love that. I will, I will do some ironing. I don't do a lot of ironing, but I think I might, I think I might make an exception. Oh. What is the process called? I'm presuming it's eco dyeing. But I, I looked up steaming and I had, couldn't find a video where people had steamed it. When some, this lady that I was telling you about, um, she has um, a hot press and then she was using an iron. But I just thought this was, steaming would be better than, one step better than, than, Boiling them. I, I got in a mess when I did the ball. Oh, the irony of it all. <laughs> I know. Oh, we just don't like to iron, do we? This is my little, I had this to do at St. Ives, but it was quite a, a busy little stream when I was at St. Ives. Ah, oh, Ali, Ali Kay, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so nice to see you. I think the alum from Amazon is a key. And it, it because it's small, it wasn't expensive, 180. So I think that I could afford to do that. So that was fun. That was fun. Let me put the string out of the way and then I can put these papers here so you can see them. <laughs> Pre-ironed, obviously. Um before I iron them, I mean. I'll pop those there. I've got this gorgeous little journal 
that Val sent me in Happy Mail. So I'm going to put some things. Lily and I are watching your videos of St. Ives. Oh, Malaya, that's so nice. It's lovely for the children to have a little geography lesson. And it means more to them, doesn't it? Yeah because they know a person. Are you going to look it up on the, if you've got like, um, what do you call it, an atlas? Be nice for her to, or do you do all that online now? Don't do it in a book, Janet, I don't know. Mm. Oh, Barbara, no, I'm not, how long did I steam it for? Well, I put a nice lot of water in, so, and, Water's coming to the boil now. I'll just turn that down. And what I did, Barbara, I just kept looking and it was so exciting. So I will bring it to you at the various stages. And I could see that it was changing colour and becoming yellow. So I, I hope because I put that extra piece of paper on that we can still see it. I think I steamed it for about two and a half hours maybe mm. like a like a steam pudding a syrup pudding <laughs> yes it, it, it's lovely these days we can visit the world from the comfort of our own home can't we which is wonderful this was from Keisha, isn't it gorgeous? Keisha's Creations, because I bought some, it was a little thank you. I bought some, I bought some of our, um, our lovely, oh, Angie's yo-yos. And here's my receipt. Mm. Yes, this is Freddie Alley. <laughs> You'll show her the map. Yes, if you have trouble finding St. Ives, um, let me know. It's um, in Britain, there's, there's the south where I live and it comes out on like a little leg and it's right at the bottom of the, the leg, <laughs> St. Ives. It's quite a journey. It takes about eight hours, but of course we stop for young freddy that gives a gorgeous instant texture we've got a little charm a little heart charm and a heart how wonderful how wonderful this is what i took to do with me, with me when i was on holiday but as you could see it was fairly hectic and there was always games to play and beaches to paddle in. Mm. Oh, alum is costly in Canada. Well, I thought it was, but I managed to get this small packet on Amazon. And have a little look because you can use other mordants um, like, oh, actually, I'm gonna mod podge those flowers in at the end. The aloe vera, if you've got an aloe vera plant, evidently, you can rub those on the papers, which I thought was interesting. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It obviously has to be imported in, doesn't it? Mm. It does. On oh, the roads. Oh, the roads. When you get past Stonehenge, which is um, a medieval uh, place, I can I can post a picture of um, Stonehenge. You might want to look up Stonehenge, Malaya. Um, it, it's an amazing, an amazing place. The because it's going past ancient ruins. So you, you, we have motorways, but then it gets very narrow, the road. It, it, it can only go two lanes. So one that way, one that way. So it bottlenecks. <laughs> and then the main roads get very busy because there's not, not very many roads 
once to get to the west coast. Yes, but we love it. It's worth it. Jean, have you looked it up or have you been to Stonehenge? This is a beautiful... Oh, that's the doorbell. Hold on. Postman only knocked twice. Hold on a minute. Oh. Now, funny story, it, every time Ben's doorbell rings, I share his ring account. <laughs> it was obviously Ben having a parcel delivered. Oh, dear. Ben bought me the ring doorbell. Mm. Well, Cheryl, when I was little, you used to be able to go up to the big stones at Stonehenge and touch them and, yeah. Oh, Jean went to Stonehenge years ago. Well, nowadays you have to go to a visitor's centre and, oh, Sylvia dreams of travelling there. You have to go to a visitor's centre and... and you have to coach in, they take you by coach. We just used to take a flask of tea when I was little and then have a little flask of tea and then walk up to, yeah, fascinating. Oh, as I was saying, this was from a happy man. When I was at my parents, Melanie sent me a little happy man with some washi and some little bits and I thought, this is gorgeous. I'm going to keep these two together. Thank you, Val, for my mini journal. And I'm, I'm, ah, oh, it's wonderful. It's like, it, it is a glue book. I'm, it's a glue and don't think book. <laughs> Kimberly says, you've already been to Home Depot already. Gosh, well, it's only, what, oh, nearly nearly 10 o'clock well, it's probably best to get there early isn't it yes yeah i'm literally just sticking oh that's upside down hold on yeah just sticking and gluing and i'm loving it <laughs> i am going to paste some of these in here in a minute Ooh, look, just little bits of paper. Wonderful. That's the great thing about doing a little mini journal. Now, all this is, is a lovely book page with a napkin and some papers. And it's stapled in. Very easy to make. So and just lovely and handy. I was watching Tanya yesterday and and she had, I'm gonna use this envelope as a pocket, how wonderful, um, or a tuck. Yes, you don't, yes, you, you get on, get on with your morning, uh, uh, Gaylan, definitely. Mm. Is there something else in there? No. So I'm just going to make a little pocket here. So thank you, Melanie, for this happy now. Absolutely gorgeous. So just going to make like a little tuck pocket there. <laughs> Well, on Sunday morning, oh, I was saying I was watching Tanya. Tanya's doing a mini journal, a little mini com composition book. Wonderful. But if you can't find a mini composition book, um, you can find, yeah. Ooh, I'm just going to. Oh, 
find a composition book. Don't worry, just just make a little mini one. Lovely for travelling. There we are. You're cutting out heart pockets and facings. Oh, that it, it's a wonderful thing, Aunt Bex. An absolutely wonderful thing. So I'm going to that you're doing. Wow, making the dresses. Zena. Oh, Zena. Do you know, Zena? I was a gentle listener at your stream last night because it was in the middle of my night. But for some reason, I wasn't sleeping that well. So Mary kept me company. I don't tend to talk because, you know, I'm meant to be sleeping. But Zena was there with her wonderful voice and you were you were telling us about this wonderful gig you did. I can't quite remember. It was something amazing that it was in fields and in the countryside. Mm. Yes, Candy, you've been Candy was telling us yesterday at Tanya's that you're cooking for your your holiday, your rush. Rash Hashanah. I apologise if I pronounced it wrong. I did look up on Google. But you were explaining all the lovely, lovely foods that you were making. Sounds delicious. <laughs> and that's your that's your New Year's celebrations, isn't it? So it's a happy holiday to you as well, Candy. And I know to say happy, healthy and a sweet year to you, Candy. <laughs> yes, it was 22 acres of farm high up in the hill overlooking mountains of Pennsylvania. See, now, and you projected your voice. Was that just an amazing thing? Mm. Oh, Vanessa. Vanessa's saying hi to everyone. Mm. But were you were you just saying, Janice, and then the, uh, the chat's gone up, that you missed your alarm today? When I came back from holiday, I woke up at half nine in the morning. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. When I was at St. Ives, the beaches to dogs close at... 10 o'clock and then they can go on again at six so in the evening so I was up at six in the morning going around the streets while they were quiet and oh wonderful mm. Carol yes you're sewing you're there on oh, Tammy hi Tammy welcome come on come into my kitchen you never know where you're going to be what room in the house what part of the country <laughs> Oh, mm. yes, gosh, so many lovely, yummy things you were making yesterday, Candy, weren't you? So a little page and I, it'll dry, but I've mod podged some of the dried flowers on there. Mm. Janice says you were up at 7.30 and went back to sleep. So you overslept to 9.15. That probably did you really good. Yeah. I know, and me, I know, I know. That's where I listen to say, um, I've already listened to Beth's stream properly, but I will put Beth on in the background or Mary. I've listened to the stream properly, but I will put it, Mary's stream on in the background or Lizzie. And that just helps me to relax and go to sleep. I know. Mm. No. Absolutely, absolutely no worries, Vanessa. No, it's lovely that you're chatting. Not at all. I'm going to just clear this up by just pushing this all over here now. So you have just done. Um, I've just enjoyed making these pages. And I shall make more every week. But I didn't realise it's nearly, I was going to do some in my 1960s journal as well. 
it's lovely to have lots of journals on the go and things collected for them. So if you don't feel like doing much, you can just pick one of these up and, mm. And yes, Carol's sewing away in the background. Mm. And this is a good time for me to say, welcome to all the gen gentle listeners. Sometimes gentle listeners are relaxing. Sometimes gentle listeners have got busy hands doing work for their families or house or they're, or they're just gently, gently in the background. So welcome gentle listeners and again, welcome replayers. Let's just get the steaming out here. There we are, you can see it's steaming away here. You can see some of the red is starting to, to come through. And then some of the color changes here. It might steam the camera up actually. Some yellow is starting to come through. Because I've put that yellow paper and it's hard to tell. Yes, definitely starting to get yellow. I'm going to still leave it in while we're here together. I probably won't be able to unroll it because I'm going to put the kettle on actually. Um, because I'm in the kitchen. Anybody else want a warm drink while I'm here? Freddie is laying down in front of the in front of the back door. The back door's just there. <laughs> you saw me running out, didn't you? Right, let's pop these lovely eco papers. Oh. Yes, come tea time, cup of tea time. While I'm brewing the tea, I would like to show you some of the artwork. Some of you may have had a chance to. See the videos that I, I, I put out. And something that the boys and I do like to do is to, even if you just buy a little card or a little brooch pin or if you can and we don't buy originals we just buy prints but it's it's really nice to to make a little thanks gail to make a make a little artist or crafter happy and jump for joy and to visit um independent stores oh, i'm just gonna warm the kettle warm the kettle warm the teapot when you're making tea, you, you have to warm the pot. You put some boiling water in and then you swoosh it around like that. And then I'm going to add some tea leaves. <laughs> Don't want to get the don't want to get the art wet, do we? We had a wonderful time at the... Oh, yes, Irene, yes. It'd be wonderful to see that. Yeah. Pid Piddlington. What a wonderful name. Two weeks in Piddlington. <laughs> love that name I've never heard of that there are some wonderful names of towns in England <laughs> I love that oh dear oh you made coffee and you're outside on the sun deck oh happy labor day how wonderful so I've got some tea in and I'm gonna put some boiling water in with that The sights and sounds of, of the kitchen at work. 
I put my little tea cozy on so it brews, not stews, brews. There you go. Pop it, I'll pop its little hat on. And let me show you this work, this art. Now, I this artist I didn't show on the video, but I've left a link. When we went in, the wife does painting and make stencils hi mary nice to see you thank you for your lovely comments on my videos that's kind of you oh janice yes to have the originals would be amazing but you know <laughs> this art is her husband it, it's called ocean oxtra and oh we showed the window because this was when Ben looked through the window and liked this person's art and they've got a real Japanese feel to them. It's just a print, but this is one that Ben fell in love with and we went back the next day. So we, oh yes, we did take pictures in the window and he wasn't there, but we spoke to, spoke to the man, to the, to the, his wife. Now you can see why this appeals to Ben. It's a print and it's a transformer and it's um, a camper van, a Volkswagen camper van going off into the sea. It's wonderful, isn't it? I love it. Mm. So that's that's what Ben, Ben had a print. So we will be getting a frame for that. And I, I don't know, I did feel quite self-conscious when I was talking to the artist because unlike Kate, I didn't know them and I didn't want to be too invasive. And then do you remember I went, I talked to this young lady and her name was Freya. And she was sitting in front of the window carving stamps. And this is this is her business card, actually. And this was one of the stamps. And she was actually carving with an exacto knife onto wood. She made the, the, the stamp, the block, carved it onto wood. So and that was that was a little one. That she, that's her business card. All the links for these artists are in my the second holiday video if you want to look them up online. And I bought from Freya, who was just such a, a gentle, wonderful person. She was very calm. And I bought I bought mine framed because there we are. I bought this one, and this is this is actually an original print. Some beautiful paper, and that's the little hill when we were sat in our garden. The beach is just here, and this is the little hill with the chapel. And we were sat somewhere here in, in our little garden. And in the video, did you see that there was a bride came past the pasty shop? Well, the bride, the carriage stopped here, and the bride walked up the hill, and we were sat in our garden. We could hear the music. <laughs> and and the, so they were getting married and Matt ran up the hill he did take a picture but I didn't put it in the video I thought I didn't want to invade anybody's privacy but they were they were getting married and then they I I missed the rest because we went off for a walk they must have come down and then got back into the carriage isn't oh so that brings back memories of our little holiday, and it's wonderful. I think I, it's a wonderful thing to um, talk to the artists. And and her mother, so 
she was in the studio and then as we turn around the one where I I was loved the floor so she, her mother must have another job and comes at night and she paints at night that's the one where the floor was all had paint all over it thank you Barbara it is beautiful mm, and it will bring back lovely memories yes Oh, thank you, Suze. Yeah, yes, in the layer. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> um, so she was an abstract artist. And so she works at night. And one, one evening when we were walking back, we saw the light on and I said, oh, that will be Heather McAlpine, Heather, working and doing her painting. But we didn't go up because well, it was night time. So that was, that's, Heather's business card and then we went to the to this these studios and they were called the sloop we'd never been there before and we we spoke to this the an artist called Stephanie Stephanie Sandercock and she was the lady that did put the found pottery and the words uh, I don't know whether how well that came across on the video, but she was wonderful. Mm. And this was Sam's idea. Sam said, why don't you buy a small piece of art and, and give it away on your stream? So I thought, oh, that was so sweet of him. So there's her business card. And I noticed the artists, they wrap everything up so beautifully. The boys were so helpful as well because we went back when I to for the videos because I felt a bit self conscious the first time and they said no no let's go back. <laughs> it's quiet and calm. Yeah, Cheryl, it probably is. Oh, it came across fine. It was like mud larking art, but it and and the way she said. It was the pieces were talking to her. I loved that. I loved her art. And so, hold on, I'm just making a bit of a pig's ear of opening this. Um, Stephanie has put this together so beautifully and I'm just like tearing into it. But she's had some of her art printed onto wooden postcards. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh, your sister remarried on Saturday. Oh, I saw some pictures actually. Yeah, the ne your nieces and nephews as well. That was lovely. And me. Ah, oh. and yes, she's got them printed onto wood. So I did from like the two videos. I made a, a note of the people that had commented, and that's so lovely, all the comments, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Her artwork is beautiful, isn't it? The links are in, in that video, and I'll probably put them in this one as well, so you can just have a little poke around the studios yourself. Mm. It is unique, isn't it? So, yes, so I'm just going to shuffle them up, Put another little hat here. Don't need to wear them yet. Beautiful day outside, actually. I've got the back. The back door is open. You can see. <laughs> it's lovely. Mm. So let me just pull out a name. Rhonda. So Rhonda made a comment. How lovely. So I am going to put that there. Pop that hat there with the names in, and I'm going to send that to Rhonda. I only found out the other day. Rhonda, Rhonda has a channel. What's it called? Something, something because that's what I do. Is it glue and bake? You love the hat. Oh, thank you. As I taught myself to crochet during lockdown, Vanessa, because it gets so chilly, I have to take Freddy out so much. I, I like to have lots of, mm. Oh, you're working on diamond painting of Elvis Presley. Irene, 
your name is something different to Irene, isn't it? And stupidly, I've forgotten. That, goodness me, so lovely to have you here. And that, to think that you're relaxing and, oh, I knew what you meant, Vanessa. Don't worry. Taipanese, as our lovely Beth would say. Mm. There are two Rondas. You think Ronda and Ronda. Rhonda, whisk and glue. It was whisk and glue because that's what I do. It was. So I'm going to send that to Rhonda, a little piece of art as well. But there'll be some other little bits and pieces as well um, later. I've got some postcards of, I said it wrong in the video, Poppy Treffy. Poppy Treffy's work. <laughs> oh. Now, right, let's get a nice cup of tea and then we will do our prompt game. First prompt if you've got time. If not, just do your own thing. As our lovely Laura would say, do your own thing, chicken wing. This is all natural light. I have a window here and then the big window here. So didn't need my lights today. God, Cheryl, I need to get this little man his treat, don't I? And then you pop this over. I'll pour myself a nice cup of tea. So nice to have tea with friends. How lovely. Mm. Yes, I am going to do prompts. Play along with the prompts. Yes, yes. Yes, the sewing art. She does free form sewing. Janice, that's another thing to put down on the list. You just, um, Becky will know more about that. Yes, you have a special, she uses a vintage singer. And she's just built up a little business for herself. She will have quite a, um, a good website to, to look at, actually. Let's, some. Um, Freddie, would you like your treat? Come on, darling. Come and have one of your fish. Come here, darling. Do you want one of these? Come on, then. He thinks I'm going to go to him. Come on, darling. He's coming. He's coming. I think he's tired. Here you go. Come a bit closer, then people can see you. Come on, darling. People love to see Freddie. You can see his nose. <laughs> He's being a diva. Do you want to come and sit up on here? We could bribe him to come and sit up so you can see him. Do you want to come and sit up here? You're quite happy sat on the floor, aren't you? Sam bought him an orthopedic dog bed that's underneath the kitchen table, but um, he's quite content. Um, there we are. Let me just look, bribe you. I'll put another one up there. <laughs> I see if you'll sit in your chair. Oh, can I fool him? Can I? <laughs> Let's put that there. That's it. Steaming away. Right. And I have my. I know, isn't he a cutie? I can sit up here, darling. I think that confused you a bit. Sorry, darling. I'm going to sit up here now. I need just people like to see you, darling. <laughs> oh yes a good big old pat pat <laughs> he says no way i don't want to oh he does he does he does <laughs> so i've made some cornish biscuits and they're called fairings later on when this processes i will leave a recipe up for you Oh, hubby's been in your way. Oh, <laughs> and he's off work today. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're doing full cleaning, craft room and full cleaning. If this is like a ginger biscuit and it's called fairing, it's F-A-I-R-I-N-G, as in fair, and they were they were, people used to buy them, they're a Cornish biscuit, because St Ives is in Cornwall, and 
they've, they've got ginger, mixed spice and cinnamon. So back in the day, people wouldn't be able to afford those spices. And they might have some mixed spice once a year, maybe, for their Christmas pudding. So it, this would have been a real treat for people. Mm. 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 Very much like a ginger snap biscuit. Mm. But with the other spices in between. Oh, if you've ever been to Ikea, they're a bit, they taste a bit like the... Um, the um ikea biscuits that's what sam said yesterday <laughs> mm. so we'll have to ask mrs Gigi because maybe they have these over in sweden with with the three different types of um spices in mm. 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 yes have a break aunt bex mm from cutting facings and mm, pockets definitely <laughs> right let's do some prompts mm, mm. biscuit called fairing the correct correct cheryl yes fairings as in they were sold at the local fairs i presume the fairs is where they uh, yeah i don't know when was that where they used to sell the cattle and well, probably still do? Hmm. Me likes to go to IKEA. We have one in Croydon. They're all over the world, aren't they? Ours is only about probably ten minutes away. I find it such a big store, and I it's a sort of store I get lost in. And me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Coffee and a donut. Be right back. Janice, you treat yourself. Yes. And where's Kimberly? Kimberly, are you having a snack as well? I'm going to make a postcard because our lovely Beth said um, we're going to have a postcard swap in her group. So I thought I'd make a postcard. A postcard's just like making a tag, but you Standard size is four by six, I do believe. Mm. Oh, Ikea is miles and miles away if you live in central New York. I'm going to cheat because I've already made one prompt for today. But then the rest I will pick out from my lovely little hamper. I will pick out just like that. So, oh no, I won't tell you what it is. Till I pick the rest. Let me just here. This is great because you can see that I don't look. I find that fun. So you have a long way to go for your biscuits. <laughs> well, this recipe is great, and because it's got the baking powder and bicarb, it make that's what makes them gives them that crinkle. Sorry, I'm not looking. One, two. Three. It's funny, I can't read chat and count. It's like... Oh, Ami says, you wish that your craft room would magically be clean. Oh, now Janice is back. Now, Janice, you said something earlier and I heard. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, sorry, I just can't multitask. I can't multitask. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Random. <laughs> I'll put my little hamper here, but if you need an alternative, Janet USA, happy Labour Day. And you have been having a time of it, haven't you, Janet? You, you really have. And have you got, because it's not just the storm, it's the cleaning up afterwards. Good morning, Mina. Mm. Really nice to see you. Mm. Gail says the same of me. You're among friends. Mm. I think I might leave my one till last. So you have to find out what my my prompt is. <laughs> oh, 
Prompt number one is use drop paper. Use drop paper. Now I'm in the kitchen, so have I, I haven't got any drop paper here, but where did I, I got an envelope of things that I put here. Let me have a look through. Your Ikea is about 30 minutes away. Your Hobby Lobby is less, about three hours away. Mm. Oh, the, the US border is closed. Yes, to you, yes. I, well, my, what's that, what's our Hobby Lobby equivalent? Hobby Craft and Ikea. They're really close, but I just don't go to them. I went to an independent um, craft shop. Oh, Aunt Bex. Oh, you would have loved it. I got, oh, let me, let me digress. First prompt, use drop paper. Let me show you. Oh, my goodness. I bought batting, or as my Auntie Jennifer said, it's wadding. <laughs> And for a project that I'm going to tell you about next week. And I bought, because it's, it's such a joy because I don't like to go into the big shops like Hobby Craft. And it's just nice. It was just such a joy to be able to buy things from a lovely little independent individual shop. I bought this Rick Rack. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, some of that will be going in Happy Mail today. Isn't that gorgeous? It was £1.30 a metre. I thought that was jolly good. And then I bought this ribbon. Isn't that gorgeous? I think because we're thinking about houses for, for our Time for Art hop, that just made, I know, Janice, isn't it pretty? Mm. I love Rick Rack, it's so 70s, so retro. I like mini Rick Rack as well, but it's a large Rick Rack, absolutely gorgeous. And this, this ribbon with the houses on. And then to finish off my peg bag or um, pin, did you, clothes pin bag, this fabric, I bought this fabric. Oh, I'll be sending some of this in Happy Mail too. It, it's it's very retro. It's cassettes from back in the day. Isn't it great? And then it says rock, love songs, hip hop, summer, 90s hits. So it's retro 90s. I love it. <laughs> oh, hi, Popo. <laughs> oh, pop away the sweet pink Rick Rack because Popo's here. <laughs> oh, you're not working today, Popo. That's wonderful. I hope you're not. Surely the boat industry can be off for Labour Day. Tell me it can. <laughs> lovely fabrics and ribbons. And again, it's just so lovely to support like an in, in independent business. Mm. Oh, you would have. He loved that shop, um, Becky. Small, because you know the shops in St. Ives are small. Oh, you have scrapbook paper like that, Anne. Ah, oh, lovely. Right, I'm looking for drop paper. I don't think I've got any here in the kitchen. So I'm just going to use what I've got. What have I got? I have got... I haven't got drop paper, but I've got painty paper. So that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> Just on my little postcard. And if you need an alternative, just let me know. So I've already gone a bit rogue. There we are. I do love drop paper. It's just I don't want to keep getting up and down. Freddie's just settled. There we are. Just shout out to me. Pop it in. Mm. Just 
shout out to me if you want an alternative. We're not going to we're not going to be too picky with the rules. There are no rules. <laughs> I'll just put that little bit down there. Mine is just a cereal box and I just sewed over it to make my postcard. Mm. Right. Do you want another one? Oh, shall we see how that paper is boiling? Steaming, rather. Um, let's have a look. I'm in the kitchen, Popo. I'm in the kitchen at parties. Ooh, yes. Now, bearing in mind this was yellow paper, but you can definitely see there's that yellow coming through there and some colour coming through there. Ooh, definitely. It, you can see it's not even dripping. It's a lot less. Oh, and I can see that there's some real yellow coming through on those papers. I'm going to put it back in. It's not, it's not collapsing, so it's just... And that will cool down, but it's not dripping everywhere like it does when you boil it. So happy days. Looks like gold. I know. I know, Janice. It is gold to us, isn't it? Our, our crafting bits and pieces. Oh, I could put, where is that? I could put some of the eco prints on here, maybe. Right, next one. Use pom-pom or trim. Use pom-poms or trim. We've had that one before, but let's, here we are. I'm going to get, oh, just so happens. I've got my gorgeous purse that Auntie Jennifer made me. I didn't show you the detail of inside last time either. Look how detailed that is. Beautiful, and it's full of trim from Auntie Jennifer. So let's see. Oh, and I've got some Angie's yo yo's here, a little heart shaped Angie yo yo. Let's see, what do I want to use on my postcard? Ooh, I shall just use some of this heart. How lovely! Hmm. Here we are. You can sew it on or you can, sorry, just keep stretching over, but it is what it is. Oh, Cheryl, it's not much fun. What is that? Goodness me. Goodness me. Drops on the floor. So pom pom or trim. Now, if the postcard gets a bit bulky, you might have to pop it in an envelope to send. I'm going to sew mine on, because I can always put something at the back. Use what? Pom-pom or trim, um, Candy, dear? Were you asking me what the prompt was? Mm. Thank you, Janice. <laughs> oh. There we are, just sew that on. Yes, oh, good morning, Janet B. I love that. So we've got Janet B, Janet B and Janet N. Three Janets, <laughs> I love that. I'm back home now. I'm in the kitchen because I'm I'm steaming eco papers. We've we've um popped them in the steamer behind me. <laughs> you thought I said pompous. <laughs> Am I not speaking correctly, Candy? <laughs> Am I mumbling? Oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> nice to see you, Janet B. Welcome, welcome. We're just doing a prompt game. If you want to join in, we've only had two prompts. We've had used drop paper or I used painted paper because I didn't have any drop paper here. And use pom-poms or trim. That's the second one. 
I'm doing mine on a postcard. But some people, what did I use for the eco paper? Well, Zena dear, I used a mixture of alum, so a cup of boiling water to two teaspoons of alum. And I managed to get a small pack of alum. So that's what you, oh, what was the word that I used? Oh, I used the proper word and now I can't think of the proper word. You wonder if those papers can be steamed in the microwave. I'm really into experimenting. Yes. They really, I'm, I'm wondering whether they could be. Yeah. Thanks, Janice. So what you do, Zena, is you soak and dry the paper and material first. I gave a demo earlier, but if you might not have time to look back on it. And soak them first. And then I'd made a sandwich and then rolled it up. But also, I was dabbing on extra alum water. And I did have some, although I say it myself, I couldn't believe the results I got. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Drop paper. Um, yeah, it's just like painting paper, isn't it? Mm. Oh, Janet B, if you've got to go. So, mm, so lovely of you to pop in. That's lovely. That's like my neighbour, Sandra, just popping her head over the fence and saying hi. I love that. How are you doing, replayers? So glad you're here. I wonder if you're doing the prompts as well. Oh, um, thank you. That was some um, my lovely neighbour, Sandra. It's Fortnum and Mason's is a rather nice shop in London. Maybe I can take you there for a visit one day. And um, that would be fun. It's a very splendid by royal appointment of the Queen shop. <laughs> there we are. Just some trim. I can go back later and do some more sewing on it. Or you can just stick yours. And she must have had this from her work. And they send, she thought I might like the basket. It'd be nice for a little mini picnic, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh, you had a delivery. Mm. You're helping a friend. Bless you for that, Janet B. Oh, so nice. I'm so glad you've popped in. Lovely. I love that. Pop that in that cute little purse. Absolutely cute. That um, Flo's looking after that. And, and Mo's here as well. Ooh. Ooh. Prompt three, is it? Prompt three is use fabric. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to, I've got the fabric scissors here. I'm going to use some of this fabric. Oh, woohoo. I love it. There we are. Just cut this down here like this and stick some of these cassettes on. I'm loving that. I might sew this on too. I don't think I've got much more. Oh, I have got some cotton here. I won't be able to sew it all on while you're here because we don't want to run out of time, do we? But oh, that's going to look lovely there. If you've got if you've got material, it makes it just such a nice texture. I'm going to thank you, Vanessa dear. That's kind. Carol's still here stitching in the background i love that i love that, that that we're just gathered here and we're just together from all over the world and yeah you've watched a few videos about Fortnum and mason's i used to take the boys there in the summer holidays we just used to we just go to the food counter buy a few tiny bits so expensive like some little I don't know, I think one 
one year we bought candied fruit they had a have a music department and we went up and we looked at the pianos and oh gorgeous thank you sylvie D. <laughs> and i love it when we do prompts everything's different and if you don't want to do the prompts you know we're just all together later on i am going to sew this in and then put some white card over here there's Teresa good morning Teresa mm. you were tempted to order a Christmas basket for someone oh, I know oh gosh yes but you didn't know no mm. Mm. Zena you're you're having a lion mm. Well, you probably did you work late at the weekends as well. Mm. Oh, Sylvia's using fabric with elephants. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, and that gives it that lovely um, oriental feel. Oh, how lovely. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, let's have another prompt anyway, shall we? Oh, add a tab. Oh, that's interesting. I do love putting tags i've got a feeling this postcard probably won't go be able to go through the post but it's um oh add a tab what fun I'll tell you what i'm gonna do i got i love this sort of you don't have to do it like this you don't have to think on your feet quickly i mean i i, but I just love that now i need a flatter button because of the postage but i haven't got a flatter button so i wanted to do a button i'm thinking on my feet now oh i've got this little piece of fabric on my and that's like a little button oh i'm gonna make like a little cluster and then sew it on oh how lovely oh Oh, oh, I got that from last week. Ooh. Let's put even more on there and make that into a tab. Oh, yes. Well, I might put the tab at the top. I'm talking, oh, you notice that I'm talking to myself now. <laughs> so on a soda tab. Oh, yes. Perfect idea. Oh, love that, Teresa. Yes. I'm, I've been saving up a few soda tabs for my fairy toadstool house. The hop is this Friday, and there'll be links in Fibsville and Beth's group. The time for our hop Friday, and it starts with our lovely Mary at quarter to six in the morning. Then goes through all morning and then it has a little break and it starts up again at five past four p.m. And this is central time. Oh, Aunt Bex. Tab. A tab. I, I am not speaking correctly today. Oh, Irene, drop paper. Sorry if you, if, if, Irene, is your name Sylvia? I know, I, you probably said in the chat, I've got it written down. I will know later and I'll kick myself. Drop paper is, say I had paper here and I was making painty papers and gluing and stamping. It's the paper I put underneath so the table doesn't get messy. And then when you lift it off, sometimes, wow, the drop paper's got patterns and stamps on it. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, candy. Well, seriously, if you can make it a tag or a tab. You see, I need to speak the Queen's English a little bit better, don't I? <laughs> Oh. oh, crazy Rebecca, toadstools as big as our hands and fairy rings of them in Illinois. Those fairies are everywhere. Oh, wow. I 
never heard of Crazy Rebecca. That's not Beck Creates, is it? Wow. I just, I'm making a, I'm making a cluster as a tab. <laughs> Sherry, good morning. Nice to see you. Really nice to see you. <laughs> and Teresa thought tag. I'm not speaking properly. I, I apologise. Add a tab. <laughs> You're not quite, Claire Lamb isn't familiar with crazy Rebecca either. We're going to have to look that up, aren't we, Claire Lamb? Mm. You think, oh, Candy's trying to be kind to me. She thinks it's just the sound coming through. Probably not. I would imagine it's just me not pronouncing the last letters on things. It's me being a bit South London, probably. There we are. So that was on washi tape. So I've just taken some of that washi away and I've put it on like that. How lovely. It's a little bit messy behind there. So I'm going to put some material on the back there. Hold on. Let's just put something on the back. Let's put one of these on the back. There we are. I'm loving this. It's just lovely to have this new material. There we are. Yes, lovely. I'm just going to glue that on. South London. <laughs> South London's a bit like that. You know, I'm not going to, I can't do it, I can't do it. But probably not pronouncing my letters properly. <laughs> oh, dear. There we are. I've put a little bit of rock on the back. <laughs> oh, Should we have another prompt? Let me, let me just show you something before we have another prompt. Or are you ready? Are you ready for another prompt? Let, I, oh, got some lovely happy mail from Beth. Maybe I can use some of that. <laughs> I finished my other rainbow crochet and I forgot to show you last week. This was from the stars. It's just a little bit of leftover and I made another blanket. I don't need it yet, but as Aunt Bex says, it's handy to have one in, isn't it? And I I didn't want to waste the cotton. And next week, starting, um, oh, I new project next week with crochet and sewing, slow stitching. Right, another prompt. Oh, something transparent. Thank you, Gail Ann. <laughs> and Cheryl, thank you. Mm. Mm. Here we are. Let's see if I can find something in this lovely happy mouth from Beth. Something transparent. You can use transparencies. I did have some of those. But as someone said to me, because we've had this before, you can use napkin because they're transparent. So... I like that. The lovely Happy Mail. And in the Happy Mail, some wonderful, all different vintage playing cards. So I can be like Brittany and collect. I'm going to try and collect a whole set. Oh, so little. That's nice. That's a little ATC from. I'm looking through this, and the next prompt is something transparent. <laughs> I pronounced my T, so just in case. <laughs> Are we going to be? Oh. Oh, Barbara. <laughs> uh, varnish is transparent. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I love to use, um, and I might do that. Oh, what glossy accent. 
I need to put something else on here, so I'm going to use some napkin. Oh, these are lovely thanks there. Thank you. I'm going to put this in my deck of cards that everyone's different. Oh, lovely. Some beautiful napkins here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to. And of course, you can doodle on your. How lovely. You can doodle and put borders on and everything. Whatever you're making, whether you're making envelopes or. I'm going to get the Mod Podge out again. Scotch tape. Oh, yeah, oh, washi tape is um, transparent as well. Mm. Or, oh, yeah, or scotch tape. Oh, I love using Mod Podge. Something very relaxing about, mm, about doing that. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh dear, you've done that now. Okay, Amy, yeah. <laughs> All done. There we are. Thank you, Beth. That's the lovely happy mail. Thank you. Yeah. These prompts are lovely. And probably when you add a border and some words, add some words. It'll pull it all together as well. Got a nice lot of texture on here. I might add some of the, I might do my own thing and add some of the eco paper maybe. That's lovely. And the words are showing through underneath. It's popping some napkin on it. Beautiful. It's probably a little bit too vulnerable to send through the post as is. But I can send it. in an envelope, that's not a problem. Transparent security envelope, oh yes, like a transparent, the window bit, oh yes, yes. We're cooking on gas today, aren't we? All the ideas, mm, wonderful. Anybody have any, any special dinner because it's the, the Labor Day, the holidays, or some special foods that you, eat when it's Labor Day. That was lovely, that. Thank you. The napkin backings pile up. They do. It's great. They're great to stamp on to make your own um, napkins, but they do pile up. Our lovely Malaya called napkin poop. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Janice, stamp on them when you're, when you've got all that spare time. Yeah, Janice, <laughs> when you're not running the newspaper. No cooking here, says me. <laughs> not even a hot dog. <laughs> Last prompt is, and this is what I've added, so it's a little bit cheaty, really, and it says holiday. <laughs> so that's the one I added today because I know, um, Candy, you're coming up for your... Rosh Hashanah holiday. Um, I did look up how to pronounce it properly. And so that's lovely. And it's Labor Day in Canada and um, America. And holiday for us means something different in England and maybe for Sylvia in France. A holiday. It's like a vacation for us. So I've just been on holiday. So I'm going to. So you make this prompt. Use whatever you want. Let me see. Where did I put some of those? Ah, here we are. What have I got from my holiday? Or have I got something? Oh, have I got something in the recycling? Hold on a minute. From Cornwall. 
in the paper recycling. Ooh, yes. Ooh, lovely. A paper bag. Oh, sorry. I shook you there with St. Ives on it. Loving that. Yes, holiday means vacation there in France too. Yes. So I thought that would be a wonderful prompt to have. So it's probably time. Oh, the Mondays come round so quickly and then they disappear so quickly. It's probably time to yay holiday on your on your prompt whatever holiday means to you mm. what do we call special days bank holidays mm. we call them bank holidays <laughs> doesn't sound as good does it christmas isn't known as the holiday season mm. I don't know. Yeah. Bank holiday, says Popo. Mm. Popo knows stuff. <laughs> oh. Let's just have a little bit of St. Ives down here. Oh, lovely. There. And I'll put some napkins over that as well. Oh, how lovely. Yes, pop some numbers in. Abigail, so nice to see you. Oh really nice to see you just in time pop a number in abigail dear so nice to see you so nice that you can catch us live that's really nice happy holidays to you today yes pop some numbers numbers in so it's what do we do that's it thank you cheryl dear um but that's it between one and a hundred and if you go it's got to be on or under you know the system oh how lovely it's lovely when you can just go to the recycling and find what you want in there <laughs> and i will be sending just a tiny little envelope we with some mum obviously if popo's numbers picked out i won't be sending some of the pink rickrack <laughs> but i've got some of the rickrack and we made mo you were looking after the envelopes for me weren't you darling anyway a few little bits that we picked up <laughs> in in um oh pop numbers in for other people as well, people that aren't here, that were here earlier. Mm. I know Jean Bainey will be listening in the background, recovering from her eye operations and just really can't um, type in the chat. But yeah. Pop numbers in for anybody else too. Oh, and Angie left and had to go. <laughs> so nice. So nice to, to spend time with you. Yeah. She could share it with Betty. Oh, Betty doesn't mind. Um, Betty doesn't mind the um, pink. Oh, well, there we are then. As Melanie and I always say, sharing is caring. I can do sewing while I... Ooh, where's the needle? Oh, it unthreaded itself. Oh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to thread needles online. Oh, you put a six in for Angie. Fantastic. Mmm. Well, he's still working really long hours, isn't he, um, Aunt Bex? Mm. Lovely. Is that it with numbers? Oh, well, I need to. Oh, I need to find my phone underneath this desk. Mm. There we are. I'll go to random.org. Ah. Oh.
There we are. Yes. Yep, yep. Is Becky Wendell still here? I haven't seen, I, I forgot to see who was there. Let me, oh look, there is it on my phone. I was looking up what does Labour Day mean? It's great. We learn a lot from each other, don't we? I love that. It's an education, isn't that? I'm going to add some, this is my postcard that I made with the prompts, but I will be doing some sewing and adding way more bits to that. Um, now, random, random dot org. Yes. And let's pick a number. Between one and a hundred, generate. 61. Who was nearest? on or under 61. Is anybody that's not totally relaxing able to look in the chat to let me know? Oh, I'm gonna have a little bite of that biscuit. Mm. 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 I made some envelopes this morning. Love making envelopes. Mm. Love, love, love. Becky had 63. Oh, that was just over. Anybody got? Who's got um, Aunt Bex had 57. Oh, Aunt Bex. Oh, wow. Tell me what you want, Aunt Bex. Wow. Pink Rip Rat. Oh, lovely. Ooh, I'm just doing it, cutting it like that so it'll go flat in the envelope. Oh, have some more. Wouldn't that be lovely on one of those little girl, one of the little girls could have Rick Rack on her pocket. It just depends how long it takes for things. Oh, well done. Becky, as in Aunt Bex. Not Becky Water. So lovely. Ah. And if you are... If you haven't received happy mail from me and you want some happy mail, that's fine, just ask me. And also, if um, I'm putting that in there, and some of this lovely cassette material might make a pocket or something. Mm. <laughs> oh. Sometimes the happy mail arrives and sometimes it doesn't. Has Little Hedgehog arrived yet, Barbara? I don't think it has, has it? I do hope little Miss Tiggywinkle makes her way to, to you. There we are. Some cassette <laughs> material. And I've got some other bits. Oh, I've got that other house ribbon, haven't I? I'm loving this. Lovely. Anyway, so you leave me in this mess I call a kitchen table. Let's just have a quick look to see how that paper is steaming. And it'll be time for me to, at five, in an hour's time, it's time for me to have a nice little FaceTime with my niece. Here we are. Not as easy to see because I left, I put that yellow paper around it. But I can see that, yes, there's some yellow coming through there and some colour. Definitely some colour here. So, how long has that been on? Has that been on about an hour? And you can see it's not even dripping. That, I find that a lot easier to do than the other. And I'm, I'm very pleased, very pleased with the results. These have just got to be wiped down and ironed, but wow, very pleased. Ah, oh, wow, it's been a lovely morning, thank you. And if you're in the States, continue to have, and um, Canada, continue to have a wonderful, wonderful um, holiday. <laughs> Let, let's just, actually, before I say goodbye, let's see. I know 
it's not even that hot. You know, if you take it out of boiling water, I did this. Let's see. Let's just open it and see what it's like. Oh, did I say an hour? Let's see if it's worked after an hour because I can just put it back in. Steam was still on. Let's just see. It's not too hot, actually. Let's have a look. I'm trying to find the end of that paper. It's like I've made a spring roll. Oh, there it is. That was the bit round the edge. So let's put that there. Let's see. I've got a lot of yellow here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's hot inside. That's worked, hasn't it? You can see the steam coming off there. Wow. So I don't know what leaf that is. Oh, that leaf that's gone yellow is from the a little alpine strawberries in the garden it's some um, it's a steaming pot so it's got water in it and then yes yeah, just a little magic cauldron there mary so you can see that it's not too warm and it's not too messy i haven't got any have to have any rusty items it's beautiful and yellow. I don't know whether that's the alum. But anyway, oh, goodness, goodness me. Look at the fennel. Oh, you're guarding the garden, Freddie. Can you see the fennel? It's, can you see the fronds of... That is gorgeous. I, I do hope that is focusing and that you can see the fennel. Angie, you're back. I'm, I'm glad you're back. You're back in time to say goodbye. And I will see you if, if our lovely... Um, <laughs> is it someone outside, Freddie? If our lovely Create with Becca's on, I might see you there. The nasturtium leaves, wonderful yellow. So yes, I will wipe my hands on some napkin poop. <laughs> you you could only see it faintly. Oh, sad. I don't want to steam the camera up too much. It really got it now, Janice. That's better. Can you see the little the lines? That's the fennel. And it just makes it smell so nice. There, there it is there. Mm. And I shall go back in the garden later and I'll be cooking some salmon. I'll put some fennel on there. <laughs> That's a pleasure. It's been a lovely stream, a, st a steaming stream. <laughs> Thank you, Jana. I don't think it's too messy because look, I put it on my desk amongst everything else and it's just not that messy. Right, I better let you go. There's Becky W. Goodbye. And Teresa, and Gail T and Angie. Oh, you went to Lowe's. And me, goodbye. Yes, yeah. Ah, oh, it has been great to catch up with everybody. Sylvia, goodbye. Ah. Oh. So nice to see you. And goodbye, Mary. Goodbye. Ah, some of the New York girl. Nice piece of cake. <laughs> Mary and Jean. Ah, and Katie, I'll see you soon. Ah, thank you, Katie. These are fun papers, aren't they? Mm, maybe I'm going to make a birthday card with these for your mum. That's nice. I've got to get that. Where have I got to get that in the post by, Katie? Mm, Janice, goodbye. Have a wonderful day off and a, a lovely. Thank you, Abigail. Blessed day to you too. Love and joy. That's really lovely. Oh, and happy new year to you, Jan. Um, Candy. Yes. Oh, so nice. Mm. Not saying goodbye. 
because we'll be somewhere else. Let's not say goodbye. Let's say au revoir. Definitely. Mm. <laughs> yes, Katie, I've just got to iron it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. Thank you. Thank you for spending um, time with me this morning. And, and young Freddie, where is he? He's on the floor. So it's just going to be a bit shaky. But I'm going to lift you up here. And I'm going to take you down. Close your eyes, everybody. And where's Freddy? There's the back door. There's Freddy. Oh, there he is underneath the table. Bye, everyone. Yes. See you all in the other chats. So it's goodbye from Freddy and it's goodbye from me. Bye, Zena. Bye, Hetty. And there's the garden outside. See the flowers. <laughs> oh, look at that. Don't let me make you dizzy. Oh, little Freddy. It's been nice to hang out in the kitchen. Bye, Kathy D. So nice to see you. Oh, he is a cutie, isn't he? Bye, Sylvia. See you in other chats and definitely see you at the hop on Friday. <laughs> oh, Irene. Nice. So nice to see you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, it's wobbly. I'm just holding it with my hand because I know you want to say goodbye to young Freddie. Bye, everybody.